I'm at the Tour de France and we've been given exclusive access inside a Lotto Destiny team truck. So I'm going to show you exactly what is in one of the service course team trucks that supports the teams and the riders here at the Tour. Let's have a look. Before I even go inside, I think it's important to point out one of the important roles of the team truck is also to support things outside of it. So you see that the mechanics are also cleaning the cars, but they don't just clean the cars, they clean all the team vehicles. They all have to be looking spick and span after every stage because they've got the sponsors on display. And so there's a hose that's connected up here to a water tank inside that team truck and also a generator that helps power the pressure washers. And they're used to clean the bikes as well, not just the team cars. And as we walk in, we've got this huge door on gas struts that opens up. And that has sort of dual purpose. It allows the mechanics to operate out of the weather. So, you know, not just the rain, but also today it's really warm and sunny. So you get a bit of shade there. And I mean, again, before we even go inside, there's cool stuff here that I have to show you. So uh, we've got toolboxes. Now, mechanics tend to have their own individual toolboxes and they're very protective over their tools. Um, tools that they've acquired over a lifetime. Uh, in this one, there's quite a few park, park tools going on in there. They've also got a little little coffee machine here so that they can get coffees, the mechanics. And I saw Victor Campanart's having one earlier. Um, and there's also a bit of banter going on. So it's like two euros for a coffee. This thing is, is it's a TARDIS, it's massive in here. And well, that's because it's an extender. Uh, so it's, it's quite, you see this quite often now with Tour de France trucks, they extend outwards. So you can see the, the gap in the floor where this all comes together when it's driving along. Um, and it just gives the mechanics way more room and just makes this a really easy space to operate in. It's also quite light in here as well, which is quite nice. And it means that if the weather is really bad, the mechanics can do their jobs in here too. Um, and to do that, we've got these feedback stands, which uh, there's a few outside being used, but there's a few in here, they're fully foldable and collapsible and, and, and they can be stored quite easily. Now in here, I mean, there's a serious amount of money's worth of bikes. This is ridiculous. So we've got a few of the bikes out here that have been unracked and they've had wheels put in them because they are being worked on or they are being cleaned or ridden. And then we have loads and loads of wheels up here. So the team are riding zip wheels with uh, Corsa Pro tires, but the, the number of wheels is astonishing. So yeah, we've got the 353s over here, 454s over there, and there are time trial wheels, but I'm guessing they're in one of the other team trucks, as will be the time trial bikes, I'm guessing, because there are no time trial bikes here. But it gives you an idea of just how many bikes teams are bringing to races like the Tour de France now. So each rider's got more than one bike, and um, Lotto Destiny, through their sponsor Orbea, offers the rider's a choice of either a lightweight bike or an aero bike, depending on the stage and what it involves. And so there's a lot of bikes. I mean, so many just in this team truck. And then there's the time trial bikes as well. And talking of the riders having several different bikes, to ensure that they're all set up perfectly and exactly the same as each other, uh, that's what this is for. This is a special jig that the mechanics can use to make sure that the position is replicated on every single bike. Another interesting detail that uh, I've seen this before in other team trucks, but it seems very common now, is the inclusion of USB ports built into the side of the truck. And so this is when the bikes are racked, they can be charged for their electronic gearing systems or their power meters and things like that. In previous sort of years, the, ride, the mechanics often had to sort of get power banks and strap a power bank to the bike and then plug it in to charge it in, in this situation. So that's why they're there. Um, you've got all this racking in place and also loads and loads of spares. Uh, so I mean, with all the tyres here, but we've got boxes and boxes and boxes of Vittoria tyres um, and different sizes. There's spares there, so that's all that. And also bar tape. I've noticed that there's a load of reels of bar tape here. So. Um, the team bikes all have really nice lizard skin spar tape, which feels really nice. And there's got some spare stuff here, which looks really cool. Like it. Everywhere I look, I keep seeing uh, really interesting things. Another thing, big aircon unit, uh, keeps you nice and cool. It's by 30 degrees outside today. Um, but here there's a little uh, sticker sheet with some of the stickers removed with numbers on. You might think, what are they for? That's because the mechanics number all the bikes of the riders. So as I said before, the riders have loads of bikes. The number one bike is their number one bike that they 
preferentially ride and start on at the start of a stage. The number two bike will typically go on top of the team car as a spare if they need it and, and so on. Um, and then everything is also organised down here um, into different, uh, different drawers and they're all labelled. So you've got Shimano spares, we've got Shimano shifters and clamps if they need to change a shifter. We've got uh, a drawer full of chains, pedals and cleats, bar tape drawer. I mean, Alex would love this. He's, he's very organised. Um, We've got uh, Garmin and scales, brake hoses, all sorts, everything that you could need. This, by the way, um, is an air compressor. Um, so they can use this to do tire pressure and get it really accurate because tire pressure is you know, oh so important. But one of the things I also love is, is the fact that they do have um, like air compressors used to dry the bikes, which is great. I mean, it's something that I would love to have at home just to get all that water out, just so that you, know, you don't get any rust or anything occurring when you put your bike away. Uh, they've got they've got lube over there, but I have seen some of the riders, Victor Campanarts, waxing his chain. Um, and there's a big TV, which you might think, what's that for? Well, the the mechanics um, will watch the end of a the stage. They'll watch the stage. They'll have it on here while they're working during the day when the riders are out racing. And you know, if one of their riders is doing really well, they get to see it. They get to get behind it. But also, it's useful because they see if there's a problem. If a rider's had a crash and they might need to have to repair a bike or something, they get to see that as well. So yeah, they're very much part of the, the racing and they're here because they, they love the racing as much as we do. And something else I've just spotted down here, which I'm gonna show you. Just there are the stickers that have been given from the organizers. So they're actually going to be going on the team cars, which is another job of the mechanics to do. Um, and so that's the special race organization stickers so that the cars are allowed to go in the convoy and allowed to get into the access at all the different starts and finishes of different stages. So yeah, if you ever wondered what they are, that's what they are. So there you have it inside the uh, Lotto Destiny team truck. Let us know your thoughts. And if you have any questions about the team truck, let us know down below and we'll do our best to answer them. Right, I'm gonna go find some more hot tech now. So if you uh, want to see some of the hot tech that's been here at the Tour de France, make sure you check out our hot tech video, because there's loads. Love you, bye.